Hi, welcome to this talk. My name is Luis Leiva, and today I present our paper, Understanding Visual Saliency in Mobile UIs. For graphical user interface design, it's important to understand what attracts visual attention on a display. For example, by anticipating what user will attend to, we can avoid creating designs that appear cluttered. Previous work on saliency has mostly focused on desktop UIs. However, mobile UIs are quite different. Mobile displays are much smaller than desktop displays, so fewer objects compete for attention. Mobile devices span a much smaller field of view. Therefore, objects tend to lie closer to the pole. Mobile UIs are usually vertically oriented, which entails less use of the peripheral vision. Finally, designers create UIs optimized for mobile devices, for instance, with larger buttons and more patterns. In some, what may be salient in an adjusted UI may be less or more so in its mobile analog. Visual saliency is affected by both bottom up and top down factors. Bottom up factors include visual primitives such as color, shape, size, orientation, or motion. Top-down factors include task goals and expectations, and are highly user-dependent. Prior research has reported several replicated effects or biases, which we will visit in this paper. Since China has the largest mobile ecosystem in the world, we recruited 30 Chinese participants. We collected the dataset comprising 193 UI screenshots from different Android and iOS vendors. The task was previewing each UI for 3.5 seconds. We used a stationary eye tracker, 250 Hz sampling rate, and an accuracy of 0 0.4 degrees. We corrected for screen distance and screenshot size. We observed a strong rotation bias toward the top left quadrant, which attracted most of the fixations. This suggests no center nor horizontal bias is present on mobile UIs. We need to find a color bias affecting saliency of mobile UIs. If attention is drawn to bright colors, then the effect is too modest to be of practical significance. We found evidence for a strong text bias and a bias toward images and faces. There was no evidence for a size bias, both in terms of area and aspect ratio of the UI element. We also assess a number of classic and data-driven computational models. All data-driven models are deep neural nets, which we train on both natural images and our UI days. Stimulus-driven models, such as CT and DMS, perform worse, with data-driven models generally achieving a higher fit. Future work should address following questions. Would our findings replicate with truly mobile users? What is the role of top-down saliency in mobile UIs? How does culture affect visual saliency? Please go to our page to find out more about this work. Thank you for your attention.